Was it a deal or a steal? A woman says she purchased this painting at a flea market, $7. A painting that turned out to have been painted by the great Renoir. But a museum says it was stolen from its collection, now wants it back, so there's a tug of war. And this morning, who should get it? Here's ABC's Jeff Seleny. A lucky find or a stolen treasure? This morning, that's the question for a federal judge with a one-of-a-kind Renoir painting at the center of an intense legal battle. The tiny work of art, the size of a napkin, is an 1879 landscape called On the Shore of the Seine. A Virginia woman claims the Renoir is hers. Martha Fouquet says she bought it at a flea market back in 2009 for just $7. The Baltimore Museum of Art says that price was a real steal. That's because they claim the painting was actually stolen in 1951, and they want it back now that it's resurfaced. The FBI sees the painting until a judge determines the rightful owner. In court papers filed this week, the museum produced a list of evidence it says proves the Renoir was stolen, including a 60-year-old police report old museum catalogs, and even a receipt showing a patron bequeathed the painting to the museum. The museum is claiming it owned it and claims that it was stolen. So the museum needs to prove that it was in fact stolen. And in fact, they did own it. Neither Fuquay nor her attorneys would speak to ABC News, but her brother says she took the painting years ago from her mother, an art aficionado. So even if Martha Fuqua paid, as she claims here, $7, or if she paid $70,000, if in fact the painting was stolen, a thief can't obtain, uh, can't pass ownership onto somebody else. Now, both sides are scrambling to paint a convincing picture to the judge when they face off in court next week. For Good Morning America, Jeff Zeleny, ABC News, Washington.